Successful season. Uh, everyone thought it was going to be a rebuilding year for us, but I mean, losing 11 seniors was tough. We had a great team last year. Went uh, 15 and one. Could have gone 16 and 0 last year too, but you know we couldn't do that. But had a great team last year. Lost the first round of the playoffs. That stunk, but um, this year we did not expect to go 16 and 0. I think each and every one of us is uh, extraordinarily happy that we. 16 and 0, 17 and 0 now that we beat Ellsworth. And uh, going to the playoffs, hopefully we can win our first game tomorrow against uh, who we playing. I totally forgot who we're playing. Uh, Madawaska. And uh, hopefully we can go deep into the playoffs. I mean, at the beginning of the season, we weren't expecting to go 16 and 0, but we definitely wanted to get to the playoffs. We knew we would. We never thought we'd go 16 and 0. And that's probably the best part of my high school career playing baseball, is going 16 and 0. Kevin was a kid who, you know, last year as a junior played about half the time, depending on who was pitching. And I knew, you know, as a, I helped out with varsity last year, I knew he was a kid who, you know, could have been playing every game and would have been playing every game on just about every other team. But he never complained. He had a great attitude. He worked hard. He played well when he got a chance. And I think he knew, you know, this was going to be his year. And I had conversations like that before the season with him. You know, you've You've waited for your time. It's here. You know, let's let's have a great senior season. And he did just that. I mean, played Gold Glove caliber defense at third base all year. Really, was just a, a rock for us. It solidified our whole infield, um, and had a you know a tremendous offensive season. Um, three home runs. You know, tons of RBIs. Ran the bases well. Scored a lot of runs. Um, drew a lot of walks. Teams really feared him, and um, just I think added a, a level of, of toughness to our team and intimidation. And, um, you know, we're going to really miss Kevin a lot next year. He'll be impossible to replace. And, you know, I just wish him the best of luck in everything he does. And um, hopefully he'll have a chance to come and uh, hang out and spend some time with some of the younger players next year. to talk some Foxtrot baseball here at the Ledbetter Super Stop interview segment. Joined by head coach Jamie Chevalier and third baseman Kevin Leary. Guys, thanks for being here today. Thank thanks you, Brian. Foxtrot baseball, the only undefeated team in the state. So uh, getting ready to go into the playoffs. Talk to me a little bit about, Coach, we'll start with you. Going into the season, uh, your very young team, expectations, did you foresee a 16-0 and campaign? Well, I don't know if you ever expect to go undefeated, but uh, we did lose 11 seniors from last year. Um, but we have a really strong sophomore class. And uh, a guy like Kevin Leary, a senior, who's really taken the team under his wing. And um, there's only four seniors on the team, but luckily uh, they're very good leaders and they've shown us the way so far. So uh, we've, we've had a really good regular season. Yeah, Kevin, talk to me a little bit about going into the season, what you expected and what ended up happening here. Well, we expected to uh, have a you know, decent season, but uh, with having so many young guys, uh, we didn't really expect to go 16-0. But once we did, we just looked back and said, you know, Last year with playoffs ending in a bad way with Ornell. Mm -hmm. We beat him twice this year, we beat him twice last year. Hardest thing to do is beat a team three times, but I believe uh, if we do play him, do see him, we can do it. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Ornell. You could play either them or Madawaska. They uh, have the prelim game. It'll be Thursday. You haven't seen Madawaska yet this year, but you have seen Ornell. Let's talk a little bit about just the, the competition you faced in, in Class C going uh, throughout this regular season. Coach, uh, talk to me a little bit about the possible matchup. Uh, well, we're not too concerned with who we play. You know, we're going to do our thing. We're going to play our game like we've done all year. Mm -hmm. Orono's a good team. They have good pitching. They got uh, Benoit and Maurer, who are both good, good righties. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we, we had one game, which was a slugfest with them, 17-12. And, and uh, in Madawaska, we haven't seen. But, uh, like I said, we're going to do our thing, and um, we're going to continue to uh, hopefully pitch and play some defense and, and let Kevin drive people in like he's done all year. And Kev, talk to me. You, you kind of uh, agree with Coach? Oh, yeah. Um, we can't wait to just get going. We got a scrimmage tomorrow. Um, we just want to keep the bats rolling. Uh, our defense has been great. We haven't given up many errors. 
Uh, we've been hitting the ball hard all year. Everybody's contributing. We have a deep, deep, deep uh, lineup. So if if one person doesn't uh, doesn't you know hit the ball hard, someone else will fill in down the lineup. So. Yeah. And with the high school season in Maine, if you get rainouts, you end up playing a lot of baseball in a lot of days. You know, bang, 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 and then you get to the end of the season and you have this long layoff. So you decide to schedule a scrimmage tomorrow. Uh, why do that? Is that just kind of to keep fresh? Yeah, keep us sharp and let our three pitchers throw a couple innings each, all three of, of whom are sophomores, mm -hmm. which is obviously pretty rare in high school ball. But uh, we figured we'd, we'd scrimmage uh, a good uh, Class B team in Ellsworth tomorrow at home and uh, keep our starters sharp and uh, you know keep some momentum. It's always tough taking a full week off before a playoff game, and playoff baseball is different than regular season baseball. But uh, my brother, the head coach, who's actually this college arena right now, is uh, down in Brunswick, has... Uh, you know, he keeps us pretty sharp and, and pretty well prepared, so we're not worried about our guys being up for the game, but scrimmage can't hurt. Mm -hmm. And you, you agree? Oh, yeah, we, we obviously uh, want to keep keep fresh, and and being 16-0, I know it's a scrimmage, but we, we're going to go into tomorrow's game playing it like it's a regular season game, and uh, hopefully go 17-0, you know. You just got to take it one game at a time. Who will be getting the, uh, the game one start? We're not sure. Either uh, Ryan Rebar, our sophomore shortstop pitcher, or Caleb Smith, sophomore first baseman pitcher. Both have been so good, it's a good problem to have. And uh, we also have Jesse Provost, who's an outfielder pitcher. All three sophomores, as I mentioned. And, uh, you know, my brother Mark and I have talked. It's an interesting problem to have when you don't have a clear-cut ace because uh, they've all been so solid, mm -hmm. and obviously none of them have lost. So uh, it'll probably be either Rebar or Smith on, uh, on Thursday. Kev, uh, you're 16-0, and 0, uh, you get, making your last run here. At the postseason, what would it mean to you to kind of go out uh, with a, an Eastern Maine championship, maybe a, a state championship? Oh, it would be huge. Um, we've already accomplished our 16 and 0, which is fantastic. But uh, now the playoffs are starting. We're not 16 and 0 anymore. Come Thursday, we're we're zero and zero, and we're looking to just go deep and deep into the playoffs, and hopefully we can. All right. Well, we wish you guys the best of luck as you move forward. Uh, that's going to wrap it up here for this edition of the Ledbetter Superstop interview segment. But when we come back, we'll talk with Toby Nelson and Pat Beckard on the interview on the roundtable set. We'll be right back.